Hey, in this video, we will see about how to calculate bond prices from the available market information using simple formula as in Excel. Let's take this. We have a bond with a face value of 1000. The issue date of the bond is 14 September 2011. The maturity date is 14 September 2014. And somebody is buying the bond as of 14 September 2012. That is exactly on the coupon date. Coupon is 12.25% per annum. Number of coupons per annum is 1, which means it's an annual coupon paying bond. The price of the bond, the price of the bond as of today is 985.32. Let's see how a bonds, this bond yield to maturity can be calculated. For calculating bonds yield to maturity, there is a simple formula called yield in Excel. Let's understand this. So it, it requires these arguments. Settlement. Settlement is the date on which somebody is buying the bond. So the settlement date is 14-9-2012. When does it mature? It matures on 14 September 2014. What is the rate? The rate is the securities annual coupon rate. So we have a coupon annual coupon of 12.25%. Price. Notice this comment here. Price is the securities price per dollar hundred face value. You need to be very careful about this. It's dollar hundred face value. So this will handle only the bonds with hundred face value. Whereas we have a bond with face value of thousand. So to convert this bond into a 100 face value bond, we have to give away both the face value and the redemption price or the current market price by 10. We have 1000 by 10 gives 100. So similarly the price also has to be divided by 10. If it's a 10,000 rupee bond, then both face value and price need to be divided by 100 because 10,000 by 100 will give 100. So now the price is 983.32. I am dividing it by 10. Similarly, redemption, all bonds will get redeemed at face value. So, 1000 divided by 10, which will give me the redemption price of 100. Frequency is the number of coupon payments per year, so which is 1. Basis is what type of day convention you want to use, whether it's actual by actual actual by 360 or actual by 365 etc. So I am putting 1 which means actual by actual and saying ok. Now this means 13.13% is the yield of this yield to maturity of the bond. Quickly let's understand this once again yield the maturity date so the settlement date the maturity date, the rate is the coupon of the bond, redemption price is 985.32 by 10 and redemption 1000 divided by 10, frequency is 1, because it gives you 3 options, annual, semi-annual and quarterly, since we have annual coupon we are selecting 1 and then basis, this gives this many options, whether it is a 30 by 360 day basis that is 30 months 30 days in every month and 360 days in a year or actual by actual or actual by 360 or actual by 365 and European 30 by 360. So I want actual by actual so I give one and close it. I get an yield of 13.13%. Fine. 